this deck is really interesting. So let's start off with one of the coolest things about this deck. You're always going to start off with a Cubone. Uh, why are you always going to start off with a Cubone? Because there's no other basics in the deck that you can start the game with. So you're always going to start the game with a Cubone. And you may be saying, well, MBB, doesn't the Fossil count as a basic? Yes, but because it's a trainer, it doesn't count in your opening starting hand. So there's a little bit of risk with this deck where if you're going into a grass deck, you might get donked. So that's something to be a little a little scared, you know, of. But Cubone is going to possess the ability to pivot from uh, either the, you know, very stable Marowak or the high rolling Marowak EX. Now, before I play this deck, what I'm thinking is I probably don't want to play the Marowak EX unless it's the only option uh, in terms of early game. And I like I just have to play it to not get donked or uh, the math makes me play it like, hey, if you take two turns to knock out this Pokemon Marowak EX is just the better pick because you can't it's going to take you three turns or more to, to KO it with the regular Marowak. The reason why I say that is. Uh, Marowak can just do zero damage. Like if you flip a bunch of tails, you're going to be like, oh man, this really stinks. Now, I don't know how often I'm actually going to be able to play the Kabutops. You're only playing one Kabutops. You're playing double Fossil Basic and then double Kabuto. But again, I don't know how often I'm going to see Kabutops. This deck might be mostly Marowak until, you know, maybe mid to late game, you drop a Kabutops and you're able to, you know, really get in there. Uh, the matchups that I think this deck is going to shine against, 100% electric. I think going into an electric deck with this deck is going to feel really, really nice. But again, if I see some rogue grass decks, if I see the deck that I just played, which which is a really bad matchup. In fact, we saw that matchup in top eight of the tournament. But if I see Victory Bell, uh, I'm going to be a little nervous. If I see Venusaur, probably a little nervous as well, because even if they play Lily, Lily can one-shot my basics. If they play the Executor version, I'm still a little nervous about that because Executor can one-shot a lot of my basics as well. So there's some big weaknesses here, but you got double Potion to extend the life of your Pokemon. You've got double Sabrina to be able to pick things off. And you've got the Giovanni, which is really cool because if you Giovanni and Kabutops, you actually are going to heal for more damage because the more damage that Kabutops does, the more damage it heals, which is another big pro if you play against these aggressive electric decks. So uh, let's get into the games and let's see how this deck performs. Oops, not a private match. Let's go into a uh, random match. Let's go ahead and get these games going and we'll see how this goes. Big shout out to Loic. Cool deck list. Let's uh, queue some games up. Level 30 master. All right. So I'm going first. So I'll get to evolve. So start off with Cubone. So I can't play the fossil until... Dude, I just drew Kabutops again. Chat, I swear I am not hacking. I swear no hacking is happening right now. I am not hacking, but I am drawing Kabutops a lot. All right. Articuno, Misty. All right. Maybe not seven heads. Maybe only like six. Can we do that? All right. Zero is fine too. Acceptable. Acceptable outcome. Why would they not Pokeball first and try to get... Okay. All right. Okay. Top deck Marowak. One time for the one time. Not that Marowak. <laughs> Not that Marowak. Not that Marowak. By the way, one of the things that I pointed out when I covered this deck in my tournament recap, there's no X speeds in this deck because the retreat costs are all one or you discard them with the fossil. So the person who created this deck decided, let's just not even mess with that. Um, we're going to make our opponent go the long way to start off this game. 
We're going to put the energy on the other Cubone. So now all three of our Pokemon can attack next turn. And then we'll go ahead and score the first knockout of the game right here. So it looks like opponent is potentially playing one prize water deck. Kabutop should be really good in this matchup unless it gets paralyzed. Now, if it gets paralyzed, okay, so they are playing EXs. If, they, if it gets paralyzed, then all bets are off, right? So probably sniping the keyboard on my bench. Okay, or not. Interesting. So X speed? They're just leaving it in there. Interesting. Okay. Um, Let's go ahead and do this. Okay, there's Giovanni. There's another fossil. I don't want to put the fossil down because at this point, like, it's, it's just kind of useless, right? Probably want to save the potion. Hmm. So they're trying to set up for Paralyze. This is what it seems like. If I play Potion on the Marowak, it puts me out of one-shot range unless they have Giovanni. They shouldn't have room for Giovanni in a water deck. Um, so they need to retreat the Greninja. If they don't, I could potentially pivot into Marowak EX, flip one heads, and be in really good shape. I'm going to get potentially paralyzed here. Okay. All right, do I get paralyzed here is the question. Okay, no paralyze. Okay. If I don't retreat, they can snipe it anyways, right? If I retreat, they can snipe it, and then... So I have to evolve. Okay. I have to evolve. I think I have to go for it, right? They would have to flip three heads, potentially. All I have to flip is two. I think this is the best line that I have. Okay, yeah, I, pr I, I probably lose. Probably lose. <clears throat> I probably lose. Because, like, no matter what, I'm going to be at risk of getting sniped, right? So, I would rather have it on my bench when it gets knocked out instead of in my active and make me have to pivot, like in the middle of their turn. Yeah, they, they just have to flip heads, right? Okay, well, they missed. Yeah, so I just retreat here. Yeah. So, I'm just going to retreat. I'm going to potion. So that way, Sabrina doesn't somehow knock me out of this game. We'll take the knockout. I would assume they put in Articuno. <clears throat> I 
if they have, so I might be facing double Greninja is the only issue. That's, it's very likely that I'm facing double Greninja. They only have four cards in their deck. Oh, so I have, I have double Sabrina. I have double Sabrina, Marowak, Kabuto, and Research left in my deck. I think we're gonna run out of time with this stuff. Like, I, I just don't think we have the ability to keep up with double Greninja and Blizzard hitting our bench. I think I have to retreat and pray that I hit one heads. Oh, if, if they flip triple heads and paralyze another heads, I could lose. <clears throat> okay. Uh, I think they got triple heads. So another heads here would be pretty bad. Shuriken. They've missed on all their paralyzing though, so probably should hit at some point. Oh no. Play the fossil to not lose to Sabrina. All right. And then I have to win a couple coin flips. I lose to double Greninja, anyways, right? Like that's the issue. I mean, I'm just going to, this is a, this is a very awkward spot, right? Very awkward spot. So there's the Greninja. Okay. So here's the Greninja coming down. So they're going to have double Greninja now. So this is bad. My window may have closed. The best thing I can do now is flip heads. Right. If they retreat, bring in Articuno uh, EX, I have to flip a heads with Giovanni. That's my win condition. I You should lose every single game your opponent flips seven heads, though. Like, I can't stress that enough. I don't even remember if they flipped heads on the first Misty. I don't even remember. Did they hit the first Misty? Do you all remember? I really don't remember. I'll tell you what, they can flip seven heads if I flip one. I'll take one. How about that? Deal? Deal? Question mark? All right. Here we go.
GG. Let's go, baby. That's how you do it. That's how you do it, dude. Let's go. Seven heads on Misty don't matter. Hopefully you're enjoying, you know, the gameplay, just chilling. And uh, yeah, man. Let's let's try to not have any other games where opponent drops a seven Misty on me. Let's let's do that. Huh? What do you say? Man, that was crazy. So again, opening up with a guaranteed Cubone. One of our Pokeballs is dead. Potentially two if we draw the second Cubone, which would really stink. Going into Psychic, so assuming Ralt and Mewtwo. Yeah, so. Or Gardevoir Mewtwo. Um... Mm, so there's probably the Mewtwo coming out unless they play Jinx and maybe got the Jinx. Yep, there's the Mewtwo. Might see an X speed here. Yep, there's the X speed. Jeez. And then Piving. And the red card. Okay. Oh, thank you. Got rid of the extra Pokeball. I keep I keep that Kabo top on me. Keep that thing on me. So they're playing with one card in hand, so they're just strictly top decking now. Um, if they have another Professor Research, or if they have a Professor Research, it's the best card that they can have into another Professor Research into their evolution line. We have our Marowak. Uh, I will go into the Marowak, most likely. Um, yeah. We're going to rip the research here and try to punish them and get ahead a little bit. I don't love playing the fossil here because I don't want to get sabrina -ed. It puts me in a really weird spot. I think we I think we chill. If they have another red card, they have another red card. Right. Like the chances of them having double Sabrina versus one more red card, I, I'll probably ride with the uh, the one red card, right? All right. What do you say, chat? Let's flip double heads here. Call it a day. Double heads one time. All right. So now we can stay out of that Sabrina... Yep. Let's just get right to it. Let's just get into the coin flips. There's one heads. Okay. 50-50. If I'm flipping 50-50, I'll take that all day. Potion makes things awkward, right? Because it puts them at 90. Unless I draw Giovanni, I can't hit with one heads. They're in a weird spot. They need to have Curly or Gardevoir ready. Uh, and then they need to have another Mewtwo. So there's the potion. Messes up my math a little bit. Unless I flip double heads. There's a Sabrina. Which, that's cool. Yeah, I just put in other Cubone. And then I play Marowak. I swing for 40. They don't have Gardevoir. They need Professor Research. And I've already drawn two. So nine to 11. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Draw phase, another fossil. Yeah, smack that down on the bench. And drop the Marowak. Let's put ourselves out of range to be one shot. Let's drop the energy on the Marowak. Let's hit him for 40. So Giovanni knocks out 
Mewtwo right here. So there's their research. So they finally hit a research. Probably going to see a Curlia right here. Yep, there's the Curlia. Uh, the big question is, do they find another potion? They don't find another potion. So they're just going to deal 50. Leave me at 20 health here. And there's the Giovanni. Huge. So I have seven cards in deck. Two of them are the Kabuto. I don't mind putting the energy on one of the fossils. Let's Geo. Let's get this. Uh... So we're setting up for basically next turn. Sabrina. One of their 60 HP basics and hopefully hit one heads. Because they most likely have Gardevoir. They're going to hit me for 60 right away. Is what I assume is going to happen here. That's probably what's going to happen here. Unless they don't have the Gardevoir. They're taking a long time. Like 100% they should have Gardevoir by now. They have what? Seven cards in deck? Yeah. It should be Gardevoir or another Mewtwo. And if it's another Mewtwo it does, and they switch out, I just Sabrina anyways. So... Let's see. Still waiting. So they don't have their Gardevoir, it seems like. Yeah, so they're going to try to... So unless they play Jinx, it's probably another Mewtwo. Did they fail to search? Oh, they failed to search, didn't they? Oh, no, they didn't. Okay. Okay. I had to watch the replay here. Yeah, I, I mean, I just try to flip heads here. So one heads wins it. There it is. GG. 50-50. We'll take it. We will take it. All right, so getting a nice little win against Me Too Gardevoir. Obviously, the big thing there is they whiffed on Gardevoir, even with like five cards left in their deck. Um, so, so we know that we're going to open up Cubone. Uh, Pokeball can still f fetch the fossils, so keep that in mind as well. Uh, so here we go. So we're opening up Cubone. We got the fossil. Marowak and Kabutops. Really interesting. Okay. And we're playing against Fire. Okay. Opening up Moltres, but no basics. All right. All right. All right. By the way, no red card in this deck either. So something to keep an eye on. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and pass, right? So next turn, we can start applying pressure on this Moltres with a Marowak. Hopefully draw into a Kabuto to get that fossil going. So that way it's just not sitting on the bench, potentially being fodder for a KO. Opponent does not have a basic to attach. That is a problem. Um, let's go ahead. Yeah, let's just start app applying pressure now. Um, all right. Like, I could try to high roll with Marowak, but I'm assuming they have another supporter in their hand that can help them kind of go through their deck. Probably another research. Uh, worst case, they have Sabrina. Um, I don't think that they just pass, unless their hand is just straight bricks. Uh, did I miss anything? Uh, just Victory Bell putting in work, man. I mean, that that's probably the biggest thing that you missed. Victory Bell put in some work, was able to go ahead and get a nice little W there. Um, yeah. Okay, Giovanni doesn't change math. Does Giovanni change math with... Okay, no. Okay. So, opponent has 10 cards in their deck. Like, 8 cards in hand, but presumably bricking. So, that's their top deck, most likely. Pokeball. So, now they have to kind of choose. 
do they oh they another moltres so do they attach and attack or do they try to turbo the other moltres i would probably attack that's probably where i would go yeah okay double potion so you can assume they have trainers in their hands like x speed uh, potentially a sabrina no no sabrina because they're not knocking out my fossil so there is the kabuto huge draw there Uh, honestly, I could retreat, but they would put more damage on my Kabuto. Um, if I get red carded as well, that puts me in an awkward spot where I have to draw it. Uh, let's see, 40. Kabuto is going to be doing 50. Uh, so Giovanni is probably the, the card that I have to play right here as well. Yeah, I think I have to Giovanni here. Because if I get red carded, I'm in a weird spot. All right. Yeah, really weird game. Really weird game. At some point, my opponent's going to draw their fire basics or professor research or Pokeball. Like, that's just the case. Okay. All right. Interesting. So they overkill Marowak. Not, no Sabrina. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and see Kabutops in action here. No red card. That's huge. All right, so yeah, let's drop this Kabutops. Again, I mean, I have no energy here. So math is going to be perfect to be able to get this knockout here. Uh, all they're going to be able to do is turbo if they... So now I have to think to myself, if they play another basic, like a Charmander, do I Sabrina or not? And I want to say I hold the Sabrina. I want to say I'll hold the Sabrina. Because I want to be able to put pressure on this Moltres. So they probably have Charmeleon Charizard already. That's something I got to know. I, I Like, it's, it's pretty, pretty clear. Wow. That is very unlucky. Okay, yeah, they just concede. 